In this tutorial, we'll look at transferring inventory between warehouses. Transferring inventory between warehouses can be accomplished in one of two ways. You can use the Transfer Inventory tool on the Product Warehouse page, or you can transfer with the Warehouse Inventory Transfer tool on the Manage Inventory page. Let's explain the functions of these two transfer tools. The Transfer Inventory tab on the Product Warehouse page works as a simple process. You simply select the warehouse you want to transfer from and a warehouse you want to transfer to. Then, enter the amount of units to transfer and click Transfer Inventory. The inventory will now appear under the new warehouse. For larger companies with multiple employees processing different stages of the transfer, the preferred transfer tool is the Warehouse Inventory Transfer tool on the Manage Inventory page. Click on the Warehouse Inventory Transfer tab. When the task opens, click New Request. Enter a title name for the request. Now select the warehouse from which the product is leaving. Select an interim warehouse through which the product will be transferred and a final warehouse to which the product will be stored. Click Continue. Now add products to your request. Use the Search Products window and filter your search if desired. Add multiple products at one time by pasting the SKUs in the text box. Save the products to the transfer request. Add the quantities to transfer in the grid. And save the request. Now you need to process your request. Open the action menu and click Set Requested. When the item is ready to ship, Open the action menu again and click Set Shipped. At this point, the inventory will switch over to the interim warehouse. When the item is received at the other warehouse, open the action menu again on this request and click Set Received. Setting the inventory as received will transfer the inventory to the final warehouse. As we said before, different employees can be assigned to process different stages of the transfer. Using the filters on the Warehouse Inventory Transfer page to filter the transfer requests by status, either pending, requested, shipped, or received. For example, the employee who actually ships the shipment can filter the transfer requests in this dropdown by selecting the requested status. This will bring up all transfer requests that have been approved for shipping. Then the employee can open each transfer request and set it with a shipped status. All stages of the transfer will be logged by user as well as the date and time of the action. For more information on transferring inventory, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.